Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I felt like picking up the camera and showing you what I get up to today. I have a few things that I need to do on my to-do list. The majority of today I want to spend pattern cutting for my autumn winter collection and I also have a new cabinet that is an early birthday present that I thought it would be fun to open up and fill with things with you guys. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing to start with. So my earrings are old ASOS and then this jumper is I think currently still in and other stories um, but I got this for like 30% off although I'm not sure if it's 30% off online but it's super cozy and I've just tucked it into these flared jeans from Zara and these just have little patch pockets at the front and these were actually a bit longer but I just sort of stitched them up and this slit was open and I closed that because I, I don't really like it when trousers have a slit opening, I don't know why. But I thought I would also show you a little sneak peek of one of the blouses in my next collection, which is behind me. I don't have any more of this fabric, um, and this has been my favorite fabric in my stash for so long, and so I've made myself a blouse in the style that I'm gonna do more of this for my autumn winter collection. But it's basically a super oversized blouse with ruffles and this fabric is just my favorite thing ever it's vintage Laura Ashley it has little dogs on it and I think they look a little bit like Flory <laughs> so I couldn't sell this fabric um, so I made myself a blouse and hopefully I'll get a lot of wear out of that I'm now gonna pop downstairs and bring up some paintings that I did the other day to see what they look like in this bedroom not sure if they're gonna be in here or downstairs but we'll see I'm gonna go and grab them now so these are the paintings I did the other day. They're just very quick and simple. I actually bought this stuff by accident. I thought it was just normal texture gel and then I didn't read that it was white sand. So it's got this real grainy texture to it, but I actually really like it. So I just sort of put it on with a palette knife. So I'm gonna take these upstairs and see what they look like on my walls. All right, let's see what these look like. I forgot that living in the countryside there's always spiders behind things <laughs> there's like oh that was all wrapped up in something Yuck. okay let's try that one again I think I'm gonna sort those paintings out another day um, because I have other more important things to be getting on with today and that would definitely be a time waster <laughs> and to be honest this whole room needs a fresh coat of paint it's probably been a few years now since I painted it in here but just needs a bit more freshening up, I think. Nothing too drastic. But yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and start pattern cutting, I think. Hello, Flory. You all tucked up in your bed. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh. Oh, you're gonna fall out of your bed. No. <laughs> Flory. Doesn't look very comfortable. <laughs> Dory's found an old newspaper. <laughs> she is now shredding for me. <laughs> so, oh, Flory, you're being very loud. Okay, these are the two dresses I'm going to be pattern cutting this week. Shh, for just one minute, please. So I might start with this one and then do this one after it. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then I have got new doors for my cabinet at the top. So they just sit on the front of this ivy unit from Ikea. And they are in this really nice rattan. You are one ridiculous dog. So I'm gonna get on and start passive cutting. Whilst Flory continues to be a little terror. <laughs> Just 
got back home from walking Flory. It was really weird walking home actually because I ended up walking behind the school bus that I used to get and like seeing all the sixth form kids and I just remember them being so young and it's just like ugh. But anyway, I had a reasonably successful morning pattern cutting. It's now about 3.30. I'm quite out of practice on my pattern cutting. I haven't done it in a while. Um, and this dress looks so simple. And yet I just want the fit to be perfect and there's certain aspects of it that weren't working. So, so I ended up working on the top like square neckline like five times to get it right but that was one of the main things I learned from uni you've just got to be patient and no matter how many times you try it you've just got to get it right <laughs> so I'll show you what the toile looks like so far it's still got the sleeves and the bottom bit of the skirt going so that is what it's looking like the front is nice and flat and square and then it goes into this gathered part here and then there'll be another gathered part under there this is the mess <laughs> from pattern cutting um, I like to twirl as I go with pattern cutting because it just saves paper and time and then I have some puffed short sleeves going here like that <laughs> so I'm gonna get on and sew those in now Finally getting somewhere with this toile. I have the front fully done now. I did the ruffle at the bottom. Didn't bother doing it at the back because it's just gonna continue around the back and I can save fabric. And then I did my usual one sleeve trick <laughs> to save fabric. So I've just gone for this oversized puffed sleeve and I'm really happy with it now. Kind of look like a choir boy right now. <laughs> but it's so satisfying when you finally get the twirl right. So now I can make any final tweaks to the pattern and that will be ready to cut out in fabric and make, which is exciting. And I think I'm going to twirl my next dress now um, and just try and get loads of twirls out and then I can just bulk sew all of the dresses. Um, usually I twirl and then make, but this time I think I'm gonna do it a bit different. So yeah, exciting. I might just quickly do a little tidy up and then I might look at my dresser. I haven't shown you that yet. I will show you that next. Um, and I might have a little break and just fill the dresser up a little bit and then come back and do some more twirling. I'm going to Soho to get some pizzas for the family. So that will be our supper sorted. Yum. I'm wearing this leather jacket that I got. Got it in a charity shop ages ago actually. It's now 20 past 7 and I'm just sending myself my Makeup Monday video because it's a Monday and I actually have a video to upload onto Instagram this week. So that is what I'm going to do now. I've just finished finding all the links for the makeup products as well. I always link the products in my Makeup Mondays. If you click on the IGTV so that the video goes full size and then you drop down the top bit, you can then click on all of the links if you're ever wondering. So I thought I'd show you my dresser while I wait for that to upload. But this is my new dresser. And I got it from the Brackley Antique Cellar. And it's an early birthday present. I still need to chop the label off but it's just a glass fronted curved little 
display cabinet obviously looks worn on the inside but it's old and I quite like the fact that it looks a bit worn so I was going to cover this on the inside with um, like some fabric and I still might but I think for now I'm actually just gonna put stuff in it that looks pretty Okay, I'm quite happy with how that has turned out actually. I've just sort of gone for a mix of greens and pinks. This I was actually so close to selling again and then I was like, oh, I could put it in here. <laughs> and I actually think it looks quite cute in there. Um, so I've just got all my sort of nice glass bits and cacti, some random bowls and candles. So, so yeah. Those are all stored in there now. I really like the dark wood with the pink. I think it looks very nice. And I'm also really glad I didn't cover the glass inside because I actually really like the way you can see into this. Sometimes glass fronted things can just look messy, but I feel like you really can't put too much stuff in this anyway. So yeah, morning for fours. Morning. It's now the next day. <laughs> Are you done? It's now the next day. I had so much trouble trying to upload my IGTV yesterday. And it turns out Instagram has brought out an IGT app, which they now want you to all download. And so you can only upload through the IGTV app, which was really great. <laughs> But now that's all sorted, I can get on and start twirling my next dress. This one is much more fitted than the dress I did yesterday. Um, so I'm going flurry. And I also have a guy coming to fix my car windscreen today, which I've never had to do before. So that's also really fun. I love having to pay excess for windscreens that I didn't damage myself. <laughs> but anyway. Let's get on and start pattern cutting and hopefully get this dress done today. I also pinned all my designs up last night because they were on a table and it was kind of getting a bit messy. So this is the dress I'm going to work on today. I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing today. I have on sexy Ugg slippers. <laughs> I'm not, I'm just trying to show my outfit, Flory, okay? Can I have one minute? Oh no. You're gonna break this pumpkin, Flory. Okay, so this is my outfit. <laughs> these dungarees are from H&M. I will link these because I think they still do them. And this shirt is from Zara. I don't think they still have this one. I got this last year. And quite a few of the poppers have broken on this, which is super annoying. So I'm never gonna get a denim jacket with poppers anymore because once they break, it's kind of, you're a bit stuffed. And then my glasses are Ray-Ban and I've got the same ASOS earrings on and a little Miss Oma necklace.
when my car windscreen was being fixed, I did some baking. So I tried out making the Brooklyn Blackout Cake from the Hummingbird Bakery Cookbook. And I don't think I'm gonna do the icing like they do it because it's very confusing. It's like a chocolate custard, which doesn't sound that nice. <laughs> So I'm just gonna Google like chocolate fudge icings or just do my usual icing. Not gonna lie, kinda want some chocolate cake before my lunch. <laughs> so it turns out all of the recipes are confusing. So I just made my own concoction and I added some corn flour so that it's not so sweet. That's a good little tip my mum gave me for icing. <laughs> if you don't want it to be sickly sweet. And there we have death by chocolate cake. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I've been wearing white overalls to make this very dark chocolatey cake. And touch wood, I haven't spilled anything on these yet. Whoa. She's a gooey thing. I'm back to working on my next twirl now. I made the bodice and I'm gonna make it again because I'm not happy with it. But that's okay, it didn't take me very long to make it so. Once I've made the bodice, everything seems to fall into place anyway, so I'm going to do that again and then hopefully it looks spot on this time. Okay. just got back from a nice morning swim you have to book before you go swimming now so I haven't been going quite as often as I used to and I'm obviously still trying to be really careful about socially distancing and trying to remember not to touch things and the first time I went back swimming I literally had my swimming costume under a big dress and just got in the pool and then left but then I was literally soaked through by the time I got home, obviously I had a towel there, but every time I go down to the changing rooms there now, there's a lady cleaning them, and it just feels very safe to use them, and I make sure I try and use one that hasn't looked like it's just had someone in the shower in it, so the floor doesn't look all wet. The pool was actually really busy there this morning, which is annoying seeing as you have to book, and I guess there's a certain amount of people that are allowed in, um, but that's fine. There's like an inside and an outside bit of the pool, and I swim normally in the outside bit but today it was just packed so I just swam and did my length in the inside bit and then I had a shower afterwards and the showers there are just insane and then when I was driving home I saw mum walking Flory so I stopped and <laughs> she jumped in the car because the hunt were out in our village and we hate the hunt and they are pretty terrifying when there's like all of their hunt dogs and horses just coming at you it is very scary so mum jumped in the car with Flory and now I am going to go downstairs and finish pattern cutting this dress I finished the twirl yesterday so now I just need to make changes retwirl the sleeve and then that one should be done excuse the mess of this room I just wanted to show you my outfit today I have on this top which is quite old from Zara and then these jeans are from ASOS I think they were in my haul but the the ones with the super flattering back so I will link everything I wear in this video if I can down below and then for hair today I kind of went with ballerina vibes and just shoved it up in a bun because nothing really was working today. So I made some notes last night on the changes that need to be made to this dress but I'm happy with the bodice part and then this part is on the whole okay I'm just going to bring this in a little bit more and the sleeve is a little too high I just want more volume here and then to come in a little bit tighter so I'm going to work on the sleeve again this morning and then edit all the pattern pieces that need editing and then that one will be done. Sunlight is super crazy right now but I've just been to Hobbycraft and I thought I'd show you my little Hobbycraft haul. <laughs> so I picked up some more 
texture gel this is the white sand texture and this is what I used on those paintings that I was talking about at the start of the video and I just think the paintings need more of it um, so I really want to just really build this up these are five pounds each which for structure gel is actually really good and then I picked up this acrylic paint spray paint and this is in the shade Elm which is like a cream so I thought that if I put them on the walls again and they don't look right then I might spray them cream and they'll contrast a bit to the white walls and then these are only two pounds these acrylic tubes so I just picked this one up this is just for like card making and things I actually am really into card making now if you guys want to see a video on card making ideas then let me know and then I got some scissors these are just they're like value range and I think these are like 115 but I'm always in need of little scissors like this so that will be helpful and then finally these were on offer and I absolutely love these pens I tend to only really use 0 0.1 but I do actually use the other ones now that I do bullet journaling and these were basically half price which is insane because usually they're pretty expensive I think they were 450 for all of these and that is my little haul I'm now going to use this texture stuff and build up my paintings a bit so I need my palette knife I think this is the one I used last time so here are the paintings and I just really want to have like really thick bits of this sort of texture so that's what I'm going to try and achieve everything packed into one so let's start from the very beginning we moved into this house in September 2017 it's now the evening and I've just had a huge H&M order arrive that I thought some of you might like to see and also I forgot what I ordered because the H&M app just hasn't been working these days to see your like previous purchases so I forgot it's a really big box <laughs> oh yes I remember because I ordered some boots and jackets I think that's why it's such a huge bag oh this is cozy this is a long cardigan with a tie it's quite it's quite like an oatmeal-y colour and a nice looking shape I feel like I may have static body problems <laughs> with this dress in this fabric but it's a nice pattern it's like, it's like croc print it's like a faux leather black trench coat it's quite long not so sure about this one but I like that it's got a fluffy collar because that's always super cozy on your neck and then I've got two pairs of shoes I'm pretty sure these ones I actually saw in store recently and didn't like that much so I'll probably be sending these back but they're quite cool I have some from Pull and Bear that I just bought that are literally exactly the same as this but the only thing I don't like about this one is it's got like a seam across the top and then they had this pair of beautiful chunky loafers and I am obsessed with shoes that look like their men's shoes and try this jacket on oh, I do like this actually it does look cool I love the shape it gives your shoulders like that real curved look it looks very high end when it does that oh and the pockets are fur lined <gasps> I like the shape and the material but I just don't think this is going to work for me. I kind of feel like it's a bit, I don't know, a bit like an actual flasher coat. <laughs> I'm not sure, maybe I need to style it up with actual clothes instead of jogging bottoms and a pink top. <laughs> this is the oatmeal style jumper. I love the shape of this but the fabric is kind of like squeaky. So it's mainly polyester and acrylic and I think that is why it feels kind of gross. I know it's not bad but it's very hot but not like a breathable hot. Okay and then cardigan. I think this was a bit more expensive. I think this was about 50 quid. 
I can see this being layered under coats and things and looking really cute. Oh my god, what size is this? <laughs> uh, why did I get this in a medium large? <laughs> I don't think I need it in a medium large. <laughs> Clearly when H&M say oversized these days, they mean it. <laughs> so nice, but I think I need to get the smaller size in this because it's just like so much knitwear <laughs> and I'm a girl who likes things to be oversized and this is just a bit too oversized but I love this I think I'm gonna buy it in the smaller size I can really see myself styling this with like my knee-high suede boots and maybe like a I quite like it like bare chested like this with maybe a, like another chain down here oh I really like this dress but this is a size 8 dress and like it's got so much fabric that maybe I'll put a belt on with it and see what that looks like and then the boots look super cool I love that they have a tag at the front as well as the back but if you guys also like these boots I would definitely recommend sizing up. I'm a size 5 in pretty much everything and my toes are touching the end of both pairs of shoes which literally never happens to me anymore. So yeah I'm usually a size 5 and I'm definitely gonna need to size up to a size 6 in these. So annoying I've literally just got a pair from Pull and Bear and now I really like these ones too. This is like my go-to belt when I need a waist <laughs> in a dress. This was actually, I found this in Vista Village years ago in Ralph Lauren and it was some crazy price, like 10 or 20 quid. And it's just the most beautiful belt ever. That looks so much better. I think it's also the sleeves that I'm just obsessed with. And I forgot to try the loafers on, so I'll just pop them on. And I love how chunky they are, but I've just taken like two steps and the backs of my feet are already sort of rubbing. But yeah, it's super annoying that loafer style shoes always rub my feet. So when I find boots and things that fit me really well, then then I get so excited because my feet are just so prone to rubbing. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see more videos like this and I could probably film maybe once I've finished all my twirls and I'm making the dresses in actual fabric because that'd be exciting and yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>